I have a rodeo to attend. This is the infection going into my sinuses. As soon as I get back. This is the closest I have been to Adrian in some years. And even Bridget for that fact. Aloha everyone and welcome to today's video traveling from Hawaii to Las Vegas for the Junior World Finals Rodeo. My name is Iceland and on this channel Boylan's Happily Ever After we share family videos, mommy videos, and have product reviews from time to time. So if you're new in this interest you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. And as always, if you think these videos may help someone, please share them where you can. Now, let's get you caught up on everything that's going on. So yes, I have a rodeo to attend. <laughs> so my oldest daughter, my firstborn, Adrian, she lives in Oregon and is competing in Vegas right now. She has qualified for multiple events. I have to look here because this is a lot to keep track of. She holds three state titles. She is a reserve champion world pole bender. Barrels, poles, goats. That's my kids. <laughs> You okay out there? I'm glad they're okay out there. I think Lucas just knocked his chair over. He sits in it funny sometimes when doing schoolwork. And then she's also a world champion ribbon roper. My sister and I, we were champions when it came to showing sheep in 4-H. And then she also went on to do rodeo stuff, so she was a princess and a queen. So this just kind of runs in our family. Lucas and Sindel, let's go see them really quick. Hi. Hi. Accidentally did a green in there too. Oh, it's okay. You're doing good on your schoolwork. Penny, how you doing over there? Are you watching a show on the phone? I want, what is this called? This is the Mario one. It's one of the Mario ones. I'm going to miss you guys. What am I doing today? Do you remember? What? No. Am I going to fly on an airplane to see your sister ride? I want to see you. Yeah? Do you like horses too? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe next time we'll get to take you too. I want to go now. Lucas is just cruising through his schoolwork. So you're going to do all the words and mark the vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. He's going to be doing first grade stuff for, for long. This book is almost done. So Mike is at work right now. Him and the kids are going to take me to the airport here this afternoon. I get there like at midnight tonight. So it's a long day ahead. I'm about to get my Aaron Williams bag packed here. I love this scene. I got this specifically for traveling, so I'm excited to have the opportunity to use it because, you know, travel hasn't really been happening much this last year. I feel like it's a little appropriate, too. It's got a little cowboy hat, my little Western sister. This was a collab she did with Itsy Ritzy, and this bag is amazing. And then I am also wearing one of her shirts. Some of you may know about this shirt. If not, I'll show you. I've been looking for the right time to wear it when someone tells me not to do something. So for anyone who thinks I should not be going, this is for you. I'm going anyway. Like, how could I not take this opportunity? And then two other things I wanted to catch up on. I don't know if you've read in the news or not, but there has been a storm that kind of ravaged the islands here with a ton of rain and we were without power from like 8 30 in the evening till noon so it wasn't really that bad being from Oregon that rain actually seemed kind of typical to me and so I just wanted to share with you some of the footage and pictures we captured from it we went out the morning after to go check out the damage show the kids the storm that was going on because they have never been through a storm like that before and didn't quite understand it and plus not having any power what else are you gonna do <laughs> Yeah. 
What'd you find? So for the most part, I think everyone was pretty okay. And it's just gonna take a while to clean everything up. What a storm, huh? And then next, I have been dealing with an awful infection that's at the tip of the root of my tooth, into my jaw, and draining into my sinuses. And I'm pretty certain going through the whole rest of my body, like you can see it in my toenails. I've noticed stuff with my heart, my breathing. We did have a cold over the Thanksgiving whole thing. Here, I'll show you the x-rays or the 3D scan really quick. So this is an x-ray. And the tip of that root looks pretty healthy, but there's something dark happening back at the back of that one and possibly this one. So then we got into the 3D scan, and right there, that bubble, that's the infection. And then here, this is the infection going into my sinuses. See how that's closed off? This is draining into it. And then here, you see how this is black and dark in my sinus? It should be that way here too, but it's not, so that's just infection filled. And I'm just going to have to wait till next year till they can get that fixed. So enough of this jabber. Hopefully that wasn't too long-winded there for you. I've got to get packed. I've started a little bit here. It's time to finish up the rest of the way. All right, I think I am pretty set here. I just have to get it all into the bag now. <laughs> to get through it all faster you know they want the metal and the jewelry off i think i remembered everything wells hates traveling because they have a fear of forgetting stuff but really like it's too easy to overpack too let's rodeo <laughs>
been two decades since I've been here. Wow. It is so cool. We made it here. Lucas would love this. Look how cute they all are. Oh, it's so cold in here. I'm gonna find the other way. Oh, I bet it sneeze. Oh, there we go. Wow, are those some dark circles? For as much as I slept on airplane you can tell and I had to be up at like 5 30 or something in the morning maybe 6 30 I gotta be there to the hall at 7 30 gotta figure out which hall yet I realized as I was landing at the airport in Vegas this is the closest I have been to Adrian in some years and even Bridget for that fact because I think Vegas to Oregon is closer than Oregon to Hawaii. It's one big ocean between us. I'm so hungry too. I'm gonna go get some food I think and then crash in this ugly golden bed. One giant day of traveling over. Bye guys.